Water covers over 70% of the Earth's surface. It is a vital resource for all living organisms. The Association for the Sciences of Limnology and Oceanography is a professional organization for aquatic scientists from around the world. Water is found in the Earth's oceans, rivers, streams, wetlands, and even in the ground. ASLO members study how natural processes and human activities affect the quality of these water resources. It turns out that we're finding that forest practices are increasing the frequency of landslides that release nutrients from soils that should be stored in, in, in the forest for decades or centuries. And when they go into the water, they contaminate the water and also they uh, affect the, the balance of, of the ecosystem for, or the forest in this case. So again, nobody wants to drink dirty water and, and nobody wants to do that to the forest. So I think that's important. Plants, animals, and microbes live in aquatic habitats and ASLO members study them in all seasons. A lot of the lakes that society depends on are actually covered by ice for sometimes up to half of the year. Uh, what happens under ice can affect the chemistry of the water and it can affect the fish. So sometimes when oxygen dips really low in the winter, people know that there are uh, winter kills of fish. Um, we also know that the shorter the ice season, the warmer these lakes can get in the summer. And sometimes that warm temperature can uh, really increase the probability of a harmful algal bloom. So there's a whole variety of reasons that we really need to get out there and look under the ice. Humans use water for drinking, travel, energy production, and even to have fun. But Earth's water is threatened by overuse, development, pollution, and climate change. ASLO members work to directly solve problems related to these threats. Our members also teach and work in their local communities and in government. So I think that our role as scientists, we understand science, we understand the scientific process, so there's no one better than us to be able to communicate our passion, our interest and our knowledge to the general public. In my lab we focus a lot on K-12 through communication. We believe that if you start from the bottom up uh, that will have a bigger impact and so we try to educate and work with the children hoping that they will have this penetrating influence upper, higher up to their parents and communities. All of this critical work helps us to better understand and protect Earth's aquatic resources. To learn more about ASLO and aquatic science, visit our website at aslo.org.